Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that I can keep getting timely and highly juicy <laughs> news and updates about cryptocurrency and blockchain. So, so in the news today, a blockchain firm aims to build crypto city in Nevada desert. Now this is the second desert that uh, is planning to do something like this. I remember in 2018, 2019, I read, I read an article several articles actually that talked about how dubai is aiming to be the world to become the world's first blockchain run city right i think i think i have uh let's see let's see yeah this is this is one of the articles right here so this is 2019 dubai launches blockchain policy in 2019 you see and the, the governments in nigeria are banning innovation in cryptocurrency and blockchain really sad so back to the news uh blockchain firm aims to build crypto city in nevada ceo jeffrey Bern says the smart city could incorporate digital currency payments for goods and services as well as um records on the blockchain that is smart that is super smart and this is going to keep happening uh, you know when it comes to technology and innovation some com some countries will always take the lead while others will follow it's a normal trend right so this should also let you know that we are still in the very early stage of cryptocurrencies and blockchain adoption, right? So, uh, of course, you know, for stuff like this to happen, there has to be, uh, they need to be recorded on, on the public blockchain. Some of them might choose to record it on the private block blockchain. Now, you might ask yourself, okay, which of the blockchain might they likely use? Well, um, until they state it, all you can do right now as an investor is to is to look at the different blockchains we have okay let me just open the chart for you sorry so you see them right so you look at the top uh, the top blockchains and check which of these blockchains can take many transactions because if uh, if an entire city or an entire country wants to use a blockchain for transactions that blockchain should be able to take millions of transactions every day so let's look at the current state of the blockchains which which blockchain can take much transaction right now and if you've been you know following my channel you should know about block activity eos obviously is number one you can take some currently uh 23 million operations and then tell us right so these guys can take so much transactions so what's your bet your bet is to start investing more here and then more here and then more here so in descending order so if you have a million dollars you put a nice percentage here lesser percentage here lesser just keep going down you know just keeps going down you see and this is where you have ethereum ethereum is currently facing serious issues when it comes to um performing transaction and that is why they are trying to build ethereum 2.0 now the fact they're trying to build ethereum 2.0 that's the reason why i also bought ethereum because if ethereum 2.0 or when Ethereum 2.0 finally kicks out uh the price is gonna explode so in more news 1.989 billion dollars liquidated okay just in case you don't know what that means um it means 1.9 1.89 billion dollars was lost on the 15th uh recorded on the 15th of, of february now just in case you're out there and you're part of the guys that lost this 1.8 billion dollars into in, in 24 hours i feel no sorry for you right i feel absolutely no sorry for you you should learn how to trade we have we have an academy right uh let me see if i can open it for you all right so this is the academy uh do make sure you register and you know save yourself the, the stress of losing money right and there's something i always tell people if you if you don't do these things and, and then pay the price to get to to learn how to trade your school fees will end up being or your capital will end up being your school fees yeah yeah that's right mm -hmm. Stephen. All right, so in more serious news, Ethereum 2.0, which I was talking about earlier, set to undergo first hard fork upgrade. Now, the first Ethereum 2.0 hard fork is aimed to be a general test before introducing deeper changes. Let's read more. Ethereum co-founder Vitaly uh, Buterin published a plan on Monday for the first hard fork of the new Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain, tentatively named HF1. The hard fork would allow the developers to introduce several key upgrades to the recently launched beacon chain which 
would also serve as a useful test for the deeper and blah 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 point is these guys are trying to make ethereum faster and this is all the process and so reason i bought it bought ethereum because hey they are working on it trying to make it faster now eu appoints first major fintech firm to lead blockchain social media projects so like i said before this is going to be the trend in the next couple of months or next couple of years a lot of countries a lot of financial institutions social media platforms we start using blockchain technology for several purposes right so all you need to do is subscribe to channels like this so that we can keep you up to date to uh how to you know plug in and how to make some profit for yourself and also don't hold us accountable because it's not a financial advice we're just giving out free information and you can do with this information what you will polkadot news polkadot roadmap for full launch fuse rally to all-time highs right so they release a the roadmap roadmap just means they're trying to give you uh you know a clear direction on what they're trying to do i've done a, a review about polkadot right so make sure you check it out so polkadot is a, is a, is a blockchain platform where you can build um applications on it i've done a review on it uh, please do make sure you check it out now youtuber regrets <laughs> regret spending 37 btc now worth 1.8 million dollars so he spends that amount of money 37 btc to buy a used honda you see well uh the truth about cryptocurrencies is, is this you don't ever feel bad for taking profit yeah you know the sad truth is that you always feel bad in the future when the price goes up right boy it is what it is you always need to feel um take profit except you have you know several sources of income and you should have several sources of income don't just make uh cryptocurrency your your just your source of income right if that is the case you you would likely want to sell too early right but don't ever feel bad to take profit because the last time bitcoin got to uh nineteen thousand dollars plus in in the last bull run right most people didn't take profit as a matter of fact most people bought at the top and then the market crashed for like a year plus before it started going back up again so always take profits and <laughs> you all you feel bad after taking profit but you know it is what it is so in more dubai news i loving i'm loving dubai news dubai based licensing company adopts cryptocurrency payments as i said before this is going to be the trend in the next couple of months next couple of years Kick Lab has become the first state-owned entity in the United States, United States, United Arab, Arab, what am I saying? United Arab Emirates to accept cryptocurrency payments. According to a report by Arab News on Tuesday, clients of Dubai government-owned licensing firm Kick Lab licensing firm. That is that is nice. Can now pay for visa fees and trade licenses via cryptocurrencies, and they are supporting are bitcoin ETA, and theta usdt okay which of the usdt um is it trc there are so many usdt anyways moving on commenting on the on the move kick kick lab ceo tasawa horak said that this decision was made in line with the growing appeal of crypto payments in the fintech area adding it really was just a matter of time before we recognized bitcoin ethereum and theta cryptocurrencies are the payment method of the future yep yep reason why i tell people you know several months ago i did a video telling people bitcoin is gonna is gonna hit or not bitcoin ethereum was, was gonna hit two thousand dollars and when i did that video ethereum was about a hundred and ninety dollars but right now ethereum is well over a thousand nine hundred and ninety two dollars you imagine you plugged in about a million dollars in by then well all you can do right now is imagine so in order not to imagine in the future <laughs> make sure you grab some coins uh today all right all right guys that's all i have for you today please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video also we are giving out a hundred dollars uh on our youtube channel all you need to do is check this the description of this video and partake you know just just join the competition then at the end of the month we'll select the winner to win a hundred dollars See ya.